This is the brown snake of Western Australia. It's the most common snake found in Western Australia houses. Hi guys, today we're starting off one of our challenge series. This one is based in Australia before we actually kick off. Uh, we had some emails come through asking us to do this particular challenge, which we thought might be of interest to everybody prior to us kicking off. So it basically goes like this. In Australia, pretty much everything that walks, crawls, flies, swims, wants to kill you. Now, getting a selfie with one of these uh, dangerous creatures um, is the challenge. So I'll give you a little bit of a rundown of what we've got here in Australia. So we've got snakes. We've got 6 out of 10 of the most dangerous snakes in the world in Australia. And as we walk around um, in our gardens we come across these snakes quite often. We have uh, a multitude of dangerous uh, jellyfish. We have one particular jellyfish and if it stings you, you stop breathing um, and then you die. It's particularly nasty, particularly if you're surfing or just going for a swim. We have white pointer sharks. Um, often surfers are being attacked by white pointer sharks. Um, the nasty sharks are also tiger sharks. So we've got a lot of animals here which are dangerous. We've got um, one particular animal which is um, advertised as the embodiment of Australia, which is the kangaroo. Now the kangaroo is actually quite a dangerous animal. If it shapes up to you, it can lean back on its tail and kick forward with its feet. Um, uh, these have very large claws on them and the procedure is uh, from the point of view of the kangaroo is to disembowel you so it's a particularly nasty thing and something that most Australians are fully aware of um, and um, wouldn't get themselves into that sort of a situation. Another one of the dangerous animals that is advertised as cute and cuddly is of course the koala bear. Now the koala bear when it's interacting with tourists is, um, is all drugged up on eucalyptus leaves so it's uh, uh, a little bit stoned you know but in the wild they're called drop bears and they drop down out of trees onto people's heads and uh, that's something that's you know you really don't want to have that happen but the elusive animal that we're going to be looking for in this video as part of our challenge is the Western Australian quokka. Now, if we're able to get close enough to it to be able to get a selfie, it's extremely dangerous, but stick around. I'm sure we're gonna be able to manage to do it. Um, if not, I've got good health insurance. Australian quokka is one of Australia's most deceptive and manipulative predators, making it also one of Australia's most deadly. The anchors of our V team has traveled to the Avon Valley where they hope to encounter the elusive quokka, quenching its thirst at one of the many water holes left in the Avon descent, as the summer temperatures have left the river a mere trickle of its winter water volume. Having found no sign of the elusive quokka at the downstream water holes, the RV team heads upstream and crosses by bridge to the western side of the river, where local peoples have advised there is a higher population of quokka nests. As the first day of the quokka hunt comes to a close, our anchors aware, our V team decide to travel the following day to the quokka's birthplace, the renowned Rottnest Island, or as the locals call it, Rotto. Rottnest Island is located in the Indian Ocean, some five kilometers off the shores of Perth, the capital of Western Australia. Rottnest Island has limited transport, with most travelers choosing the option to travel using leg power. Our team out their bicycles, 
and head off in search of the Quokka with the knowledge that there is at least a population of 10,000 Quokka on the island 